So to follow up from what I previously mentioned about perspective, one of the things that we tend to do, um, in recently anyway, what's been happening in, in our thoughts in general are all these important dates in 2012 and um, how the world may end and you know how fears go into all kinds of stories and our lack of trust goes into stories even a little doubt goes into stories it's all kind of mm, curiosity and wondering and we're always wanting to know the future of course and wanting to make sure we're pr protecting ourselves from dying but you know all of that and I wonder if we could just look at that as just being more of that manifestation of that you know visual perceptual test with the old lady which is kind of foremost in the in, in our perspective representing all of our kind of old ways of seeing life always trying to be so guarded and protected and worrying about a me that might not survive and you know no matter how we couch it no matter how intelligent we are no matter what science we study and use no matter what we're doing we're you know still trying to do the same thing not believe that we're okay that we're we're you know we already are surviving we're still coming up with scenarios that we might have to guard against and do something about and protect ourselves and maybe maybe this ending of our so-called world that we talk about or the end of the calendar in the Mayan world is is about a shift to that new lady maybe it's about truly making up our minds to res re surrender surrender this old lady perspective uh, surrender no matter how strongly we want to be so smart and so scientific and uh, so protective and you know figure it all out and no matter how much we're doing that I think we do have to really surrender and realize we're simply continuing in our sense of separation as individuals you know protecting ourselves as though and it's something we've learned right from the beginning in our childhood that we didn't feel completely secure all these theories about the kind of attachments children go through and babies go through insecure attachments and all of the psychological traumas that build from that it's really all the same we're, we're all talking the same thing one way or another it all amounts to that old lady perspective that we don't trust we want to know we're individuals thinking we're separate and we're trying to survive I wonder if we can surrender that I wonder if we can really open to that other perspective fully. And just to again think about the idea of, you know, what would it be like if you were fully in that perspective where you actually trust it and it's not an active thing that you have to do, it just occurs because you let go of not trusting. If you were just waking up every day just excited about the fact everything is always for you everything nothing is ever against you every experience every person everything that comes to you is calling you back home to this perspective of peace and trust and acceptance and openness and love as if you've always had great parents who always make everything perfect and safe for you in every way. That you have the freedom to explore and do and be and say and create whatever your heart desires. Because you're always loved and safe and protected. It's kind of like the complete opposite that we're feeling in the old lady perspective. So part of it is, you know, we've been doing all of this releasing and letting go of old, an old paradigm that we're all in around this fear and separation. And we have to really open to receiving that new perspective. It's, it's surrendering the old, but really opening and exploring the new. 
really being present and really being open, feeling what it's like to feel open to what's going to happen next and just being ready for what the world brings you and what happens next. And way, letting go of your thoughts and ideas of what you're going to plan all the time, what you're going to do all the time or how it's going to go. Letting go of ideas about who people are just because you've known them the day before, that they're going to show up that way today. Just being more open to really explore this new perspective that's coming in to focus for all of us. It's always here, all the time. It's always here, always supporting a one loving connectedness with all of us together. It's always here. Our world, the very way it is now, can be seen but from increasingly loving perspective. And right action comes from there. It's not thought through, it just is. It's intuitive in the moment. Ideas occur that solve problems. And problems dissolve. It's exciting to be here now. It's exciting to just feel the shift. And that we all are just one and really connected all the time. And wonderful things are, are there for us every day. And we aren't apart. We're all one. We can feel each other's hearts and feel the connection to that love. And rest in that. Rest in that feeling of trust where there's nothing to worry about. Just, you know, we're just playing with moving to that. And that perspective will shift and get even stronger and clearer and less as a separate individual human and much more as just an experience day to day minute to minute. Open to receiving the perspective, the harmony, that everything is for you, not against you. Much love.